diesel fuel. It has become a precious commodity. And while you can't do much about its price, you can use it more wisely. There are steps you can take to get more acres per gallon. Now all tractors are a little different. So are drivers and the conditions a tractor has to operate in. We can't predict the exact amount of fuel you can save with your tractor, but the concept of saving fuel and the methods to do it are the same no matter what type or size tractor you are driving. For demonstration purposes, let's use the popular 4440. The goal in saving fuel is obvious. You want to get the most work done with each gallon your tractor burns. Heavy work burns the most fuel, so let's start here. First, make sure the tool you're using matches the tractor you're using. This chisel plow is too big for a 4440 in these conditions. You just can't pull it at five miles per hour. You'll have to shift down and travel slower. It's going to take you longer to finish the field. It's hard on the tractor and it takes more fuel. Your dealer can help you make sure your implements are sized correctly. When you see a slippery spot in the field, engage the differential lock before you get wheel spin. You avoid wasting time and fuel. Now, to really come to grips with fuel efficiency, we have to look at another weighty problem, wheel slippage. You want some slippage with a heavy load. To eliminate it completely, you'd be forced to carry a tremendous amount of dead weight. The excess weight would require extra horsepower and fuel just to move around. It would also put a heavy strain on the drivetrain and tires. On the other hand, too much slippage slows you down, costing you time, tire wear, and fuel. Fuel you would save by weighting your tractor correctly. So how much slippage do you need? On two-wheel drive tractors, 10 to 15% is right. If we had a four-wheel drive or a tractor with mechanical front-wheel drive, we'd look for 8 to 10% slippage. These percentages will yield maximum productivity and maximum fuel efficiency. Checking your tractor's slippage isn't hard. Chalk a tire, then with the tractor under full load and running in the right field gear, mark off the distance covered by 10 revolutions of the wheel. Now, with the implement raised, count how many revolutions covered the same distance. You should be able to do it in eight and a half to nine revolutions, which is 10 to 15% slippage. This simple test is described in your John Deere operator's manual. If it turns out you have more than 15% slippage, add weight. If you have less than 10% slippage, take weight off. In either case, you save fuel. But remember what we said earlier. Don't wait up for slow speeds under four and a half miles per hour. Most modern implements are designed to work at least that fast. Running slower than that just costs you time and fuel. One final point about heavy pulling. Radial tires can cut your fuel consumption about 6% compared with bias ply tires at the same tractor weight. It's worth considering when you're shopping for new tires. Now let's look at light loads. Fuel savings here can be even more dramatic than with heavy loads. We'll use John Deere's computerized dyno cart to demonstrate. This sophisticated research device Let's us apply any drawbar load to our 4440 and get an instant readout of fuel consumption. We're going to reduce the drawbar load on our 4440 to 30%. Notice the fuel consumption reading, a little more than five gallons per hour. We're running at full engine RPM 
and at about the right travel speed. Now our 4440 driver is going to shift up and throttle the engine down to 1600 RPM. We're still moving at about the same travel speed, but look at the fuel consumption, less than four gallons per hour. We're doing the same job with 25% less fuel. Back to weight again. Our 4440 has been weighted for heavy tillage, but this row crop cultivator provides very little load. Look at the rolling resistance. Now let's stop and remove the front end weights and those outside rear weights. It won't take long, certainly less than an hour. Let's try the same job with the same tractor, but without the extra weight. We're moving through the field about 15% faster because we've reduced rolling resistance. We're covering 15% more ground with the same fuel. A nice step toward our goal, more acres per gallon. Another way to save fuel is to be sure your tractor isn't wasting it. Close attention to proper service not only prolongs tractor life, it also prevents fuel waste. Make certain that dirty fuel and air filters are changed. Make sure thermostats are operating correctly. Always be on the lookout for excessive smoke, a sure sign of waste. And don't leave the tractor idling during any work break that lasts more than two minutes. Of course, the biggest fuel saving of all comes from not burning it. Look closely at your regular tillage practices. Eliminating trips over the field can save as much or more fuel than all the steps we've outlined so far. Think over the points we've raised today. Adopt any you can to help make the wisest use of your diesel fuel. All of them will help you reach your goal. More acres per gallon.